Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Um, a Math Lab back. It's been a while. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the cross product. Uh, the cross product is actually something I had a really hard time with, and so I think uh, it's it's uh, a good idea to make a video about this. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm here for. Uh, let's start off with some basics. Uh, maybe you're in uh, intro mechanics or physics or something or engineering or whatever it is. Uh, or maybe you're in the later classes, but you never quite got it. So let's get started. Uh, so let's say we have a three-dimensional plane. Okay, so this is the negative x, positive x. We have negative z, positive z, y, negative y. Okay. Uh, or, you know, if it's uh, another notation, you might have, uh, like, unit vectors. Uh, this would be positive j, negative j, negative i, positive i, uh, positive k, negative k. But we'll just leave it like this for now. Um, so, uh, just some basic guidelines. Uh, I do my cross product just a little bit different than, uh, than, than some people. Uh, and what I do is I say, okay, uh, let's say I have uh, x. So I have x cross y is equal to, is equal to what? Okay, so we have x, so the first one here, I'm going to put my thumb in that direction. So x, and the second one is going to be where my index finger goes, y. So x cross y is equal to wherever this finger goes, right? It's my middle, it's always my middle finger. Whatever is on the other side of the equal sign is going to be my middle finger. So x cross y is equal to z. So there I have it. x cross y is equal to z. Okay? Let's try another one. Um, let's try... Uh, z cross x. So z, z is actually coming out at us, right? It's coming straight out at us. So z cross x. So notice the first letter is z is going where my thumb is going, which is straight out at us. So z cross x. And x is this way, right? So then cross x is equal to y. So whatever's on the other side of the z equal sign is going to be, uh, is, is where what z cross x is going to equal. So z cross x is equal to y. So, so there we have it. z cross x is equal to y. Okay? Um, here's just a, a couple of them here. Um, well, I mean, we could do some other ones as well, but if you follow those basic guidelines, I mean, sometimes you might look a little weird or, you know, might look like you're throwing gang signs or stuff, you know, don't do it out in public, especially if you're in, living in a bad neighborhood or something. Uh, but anyhow, um, I'm going to show you maybe how we can use it. Uh, let's try, for example, uh, the propagation of light or electromagnetic waves. Which is uh, which is given by this equation. C is equal to E cross E. Okay, C is equal to E cross B. So what does that mean? That means that the direction that an electromagnetic wave is going to go depends on uh, the directions of E cross B. I mean, these are actually vectors, and so, uh, uh, for example, you know, we have uh, some wave, and it's going to go, let's say, in this x direction, and at this point, the electromagnetic, or the, um, the E field is coming out at the, uh, in the z direction, so let's call this C. Let's call this E. 
this is the direction that it's actually going to go, right? This is the direction of the E field, and it's, and it's in the Z direction. I oh, hope you can understand that uh, with my drawing. So here it's going to go in the Z direction. And uh, you know what? We can do this, but I'm going to stick to the basics really quick. Let's, so, let's say we know the E field, the direction of the E field, and the direction of the B field. So let's say we, this is actually, let's say this is the B field. We can do it that way, but it's just a little more complicated. Once you learn the basics, it's really easy to do it. Okay, so um, now this equation says that the direction of an electromagnetic wave is given by E cross B. We know the direction of the E field, it's in the Z direction. We know the direction of the B field, it's in the X direction. So which direction is this light wave going to go? So, what we do is we say, okay, um, now, E is the first one that we see, right? So that's going to be my thumb. Now, E is going to go in the Z direction. So, there's E cross B, which is in the X direction, cross B. So which way is the light going? Well, in the direction of my middle finger, which is that way. So, light, the light is actually going to go is traveling this way. So let's call that the velocity of an electro, or let's not call it the velocity, let's just call it C to make it nice and simple. So E cross B is equal to C. Okay. Whatever is on this side of the equal sign, or I should say alone on the equal side, whatever side that is, is going to be the direction of my middle finger in my case. Okay. Let's try another one. Um, let's try, uh, and these are just examples of how you might use this, and uh, and really kind of getting a feel for the way that I use the right hand rule. And uh, and if you if you abide by this rule right here that I use, then uh, and or even come up with your own, then uh, you'll have absolutely no problem with this whole cross product thing. Um, there's another one. Uh, it's called. Uh, this is the magnetic force, uh, or one of the magnetic force equations, and it goes like this. Force, vector force is equal to uh, QV cross B. QV cross B. So, velocity's got magnitude and direction, and so does the B field. Force, of course, you know, is a vector. This is really the only thing that stays constant right here is this, this Q. So don't worry about, really, what we're really doing is we're, we're taking V and we're crossing B. Okay, so just worry about that. Um, so with that said, let's say we have uh, something, some particle, and it's moving in the negative X direction. We'll call that V. And, uh, and our B field is... Well, let's say our B field is, is going in the negative uh, Z direction. That's what that means, right? X means that it's going to go in the negative Z direction. Or I can do is I can draw it out for you. And in this way, uh, hopefully you understand my drawing, but let's say it's going in this negative Z direction. And this is B. So, really quick, what's my middle finger? Uh, that sounds weird, but uh, it's it's force, right? Force, uh, and what's my thumb? My thumb is going to be, be V, and my index finger is going to be B, okay? So remember, the first one that we see, and it's not the Q, because we're actually just crossing the V and the B, but that's going to be my thumb, right? So, which way is my thumb going to go? It's going to be, alright, V, it's a negative X direction, cross B, and B is actually going to go in the negative Z direction, so it's really going into the plane. So V cross B is going to equal to my middle finger, which is force. So the force is actually coming down. It's, it's going this way. Right? So um, and we could have done it another way as well. Uh, we could have said... Uh, I mean, we could do it all these different ways. Um.
let's say instead of it going in the negative z direction, instead it's going in the, the positive z direction. So these dots mean that it's coming out at us, right? Or I can draw it going like that if you want, but it's pretty much the same thing. Let's see. Um, the B fill here is going in the positive Z direction. I'm trying to make it parallel with this line here. Uh, the same thing here. Uh, D is going to be my thumb because it's the first one we see on this side of the equation and B is going to be my index finger. Force is going to be my middle finger, okay? Because these two are perpendicular to this one. That's the reason why I'm using my middle finger. Okay, so uh, what do we have here? We have V, which is in the negative X direction, uh, cross B, and B is coming right out at us. That's what the Z plane is, right? It's actually coming out at us. So V cross B is equal to force, which is in the positive y direction. All right, so uh, I hope some of that stuff helped you out. Um, uh, go over the video a couple times and, and you know and look up other websites and stuff because I know the cross product for me was pretty challenging when I when I, when I, when I learned it. So uh, uh, if you have any questions, post them and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, thank you.